Hey everybody, welcome back to Koibi's Dreamland 3. Right back at ya. Unfortunately, on the way to level one and one to level two, um, I got thrown overboard, so we're gonna have to pull pull our weight from here. He went for a swim. Aww. Uh, but thankfully, this lovely fish will keep us in good company. Oh. Uh, no. No, he's mine. Wife of no. yours. Oh. Mine. No, he's but mine. yeah. <laughs> let that let that little intro be a, be an indicator of things to come, because uh, Kine is pretty much the MVP of Ripple Field, and most of right not then. all of these um missions here. In fact, oh god, I almost forgot to um, pull up the uh, Kirby wiki for this. Oh, for that. all the characters, yeah. So <laughs> we're going we're going to meet a flower, a blue flower, in this first level of Ripple Fields, and ah, clean ability sucks. <laughs> yeah, but we are going to need it for this mission. Uh... <laughs> Not what we can quite do about that. I but, forgot. Um, I forget. Is this our first time having Icky along for a Kirby game, or was he there for a previous one? Uh, he was with us for the look at. On, I was here um, for Kirby's Animal Crackers. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah. So we've already talked oh, about yeah, our basic uh, Kirby stuff. On that stuff. note, uh, Icky, are you going to join us for Amazing Mirror? Um, uh, I might as well. <laughs> Only if you want to, though, because that's going to be kind of that one's going to be pretty packed as it is with Ned on board. Yeah. Oh no, I'll, I'll get back to you on it. Have okay. some water because our boat is a bucket. Of course, we obviously want to be either be there for Star Allies when we get to that. But the uh, argument is invalid. Our bird is a bucket. Yes. <laughs> Which again also makes its return to a uh, Star Allies. <laughs> Star Allies is going to be a packed commentary. Yes. Yep. Yes, it is. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Switch stuff in Anywho. general. And, yeah, sorry. Yeah, oh, dude, I, dude, we I, haven't I, really I, quite described the motive of this I particular think. level's uh, mission. So we basically got to water the plants. Mm -hmm. oh. And remember, don't step on them. Yep, otherwise that's an automatic mission fail. Mm -hmm. Really? Oh. Yeah, cause because Miss Little Miss Kamuribana is gonna be mad at us if we do if we def defile her plants like that. Okay. Well, that sounds familiar. Actually, let me see if it's a she. Talking about Breath of the Wild. Uh, yep. Ka wait, Kamuribana? That's the name no, of a character. She, in that no, game? she's she's talking about the site. She's talking about the site was where to get to a shrine, you can't step on any flowers. <gasps> oh, oh yeah, from that, I remember that. Yeah. Otherwise, she beats you up. And, Why can't you that... just fly over it? I think you can. You can, but you, you but, also gotta uh, stick that landing. Unfortunately, even if you finish the shrine, it still won't change anything. You still gotta avoid the flowers, or she'll beat you up anyway. <laughs> I'm saying, like, yeah. I'm saying, but with Rivali's gear, you can just get right around it. Yeah, that's true. I swear to God, this thing is so fickle. And you're low, quote, you're low on health. Well, at the very least, once we're once we finish finish uh, watering these plants, I think we're pretty much going to be done with the mission, regardless of if I die. Okay. Question: If you step on the saplings, does it count as a mission fail? To that, I don't. I don't think so. They're too small to be stepped on. Oh, okay. But yeah, we're done here. So um, just as soon as the broom hatters uh, mind their mind their own beeswax, just you gotta feel bad for the broom hatters. Like their whole their whole motivation in life is to sweep anything within their path. And well, oh. land is a dirty place. That was a close one. <laughs> yeah. Just imagine that for a second. Like the waddle is the bird just walk, running on by, and then all of a sudden he just it lifts up it's like tough. Kirby. Remote control. Holy shit! He roboticized wow. the bird. Yes. Yeah. He's controlling his friends. Yeah. Well, isn't that what he always does? That's terrifying. Isn't that, isn't that, isn't that the whole like message of Star Allies? Well, like, use your friends to your advantage. Yeah. yeah. Control them. Well, to not your only benefit. that, but you're forcing them to be your friends. Mind control. Kirby forces everybody. <laughs> you know what? It pretty much is Kirby forces. Yeah, all things considered, speaking, what you're doing, and all the people who show up. Only, only yeah. there's a little, little more substance in uh, Star Allies than there is in Sonic Forces. Mm -hmm. Kirby, Kirby forces you to get rid of that opinion. Kirby forces that. <laughs> Kirby forces. Welcome everybody to Kirby forces that frown upside down. Aww. We got a heart star. Now step on the flower. And, and the and pitch and pitch will help himself to a nice little tulip tulip salad. I don't want your tulip sandwich, rats. <laughs> uh, no, I asked for tuna, not tulip. I tulip. Okay, All right. Next, next on the bu bucket is one Picasso. He has a he has an umbrella on his it's head. It's an egg. No, it's, it's an egg it's, with an umbrella. No, it's one of the Picasso. It's one of those like those like Easter Island head thingies. No, it's not a Maui statue. Ah! Oh! Death by combustible. Death by coconut. coconut on the head. You know, like report cards. <laughs> so how so how do we beat this one? 
For this one, you're gonna need Kine and the Umbrella ability. Go figure. Yeah. I mean, if the umbrella on the dude's head wasn't enough of an indicator. He does it. I, I mean, mean it's like, oh, nice. Basically, what it is is that uh, much like um, the mission where we had to um, sm pretty much smut Moochie Moochie with um, uh, Choo Choo, just slap him on the head and he's all lovey dovey. This is a very similar plot, similar mission. Only in this case, you do need uh, do need to use your uh, copy ability along with your animal friend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Needs needless to say, this is one of the stranger occasions in which you have to use uh, both animal friends and copy abilities in conjunction. In terms yeah. of uh, in terms of uh, standard Kirby game protocol, this is probably one of the more obscure puzzle solving elements. Oh next, yeah. Oh, only, do you think? Next, oh, and if you think that. What was that, I was I was I was about to say, second only to the item com combining puzzles of sixty four. I mean, in that case, at least you have a uh, color combination, wherein you can just the correlate blocks. the color of any particular object with um, the copy ability uh, colors. Sure. So, like, if you have a green and black checkboard kind of material just sitting around, just throw a, a, a cutter bomb, bomb ability at it. Right. I guess yeah. if I could give or Dreamland Kata 3 Rider, some was... credit over Kirby 64, I mean, while the puzzles in 64 are admittedly, well, a bit less strenuous at points, I would say mm -hmm. this one's a little more varied with how you have to do them. Like, again, this for example. We see our little umbrella friend, and we mimic him. <laughs> ah. <laughs> kind of testing his situation. Oh. Yeah, I'm not alone on this earth anymore! Oh, well, see you later. See you later, lone guy. Like, what? I just have an umbrella out during sunset. Who's to say? Who's to say that he, that he did that on his own choice? He's filming a movie. It's embedded into his head. Help him! I didn't Help know him. that was a hat. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> Heart star. Yay! Yay. Yay. Right. Oh, just spit I wonder who lives on. out there. Kind does now because we're. Oh, no, you a... see that house in the background? Do zoom in oh. on that house. Uh, I see that. No, we're not doing that. He's right above Kirby there. Now that I think about it, it kind of reminds me of Master Roshi's house. <gasps> I actually thought of that one sequence near the end of Spirited Away. Oh, oh this guy. This asshole oh, it's Green the eel. He's got a mission for us, and guess what? It's another guessing game. Yay! So thankfully, thankfully this is actually one of the easier guessing that games, so me. rest assured. So that's where the cap anime started. Uh... In yeah. 64, like, I, I, so that's where it's, uh, I'm seeing all these things, like, again, I never played this game all that much, but now I'm totally seeing where all these characters started from. Mm-hmm. Again, Kirby 64 was essentially a direct sequel to this game. Actually, yeah, looking back on it between Dreamland 2 and 3, I'm starting to see, like, where the classic, look at that, while you rowing a boat. Oh. Roll, roll, roll your boat, gently drown. It's so cute. Gently down the water. I'm definitely seeing where the Kirby games got their, like, formula from, like, where they got the start with the whole, like, you know, trio. Oh! Oh, I hate yeah. those stupid Kappa enemies, especially in yeah. 64. And then you got the, and then you got those big biter enemies. Like, there's no water here, Waddle Dee. Uh, Waddle Dee, you uh, feel oh. all right there, buddy? I'll just leave him to it, leave him <laughs> to his fate. Hmm. Poor Waddle Dee. Who would be more? Who would be the most practical in this situation? Goodbye. Uh, uh Rick. Drown Rick? in pieces. No. Eventually, he'll move eventually. He's like, I'm stuck here forever. <laughs> my my stubby legs can only take me so far. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't even have legs. I forget. I don't know if I ever asked. What's your guys' favorite animal companion? Choo choo. Um. Uh, Alex. Yeah. I don't roll that way, sir. I like uh, Rick. I like Rick and uh and uh Naga the most. I, I say like Choo Choo only because she's the only one that has like a particular relationship outside of friendship. Uh, when it comes to Kirby? Uh, kinda, sorta. Again, they don't really do much with it after this game. Yeah, but it is pretty game. cute to think about. Besides, I, besides, I like pairing Kirby more with Ribbon than I do Choo Choo. I'm sorry, Logan, were you talking to me? Hang on. Let's see. The eel was in the that fire. jar. You found me. That's one. Again, this one's actually pretty easy. Assuming you have a good enough, um, good enough eyesight. Just stare at the center of the screen. Right. Fourth one. Anyway, yeah. I was saying, Celia, what's your favorite animal companion? I don't really have an opinion because I never played any. I never played any of the older Kirby games. I blinked. All right. Okay. Uh, By the way, can I just can I just say real quick? I hate this fucker. If ever you lose. 
Why, does he laugh at you? What? Essentially, yeah, he laughs at you. What a prick. He, makes, he just makes the goofiest little face at you. It was James's avatar post. It was, it was James's avatar pick for a while. It just seemed like... <laughs> <laughs> Stupid eel. Yeah, yeah seriously. It made me look bad. Oh, no. Oh, Auto-scroller. Eh. Auto-scroller in a Kirby game. Eh, I'll take it here than I do in a... Take it here than in a Sonic game. <laughs> Either way, I'd rather not have him. Is it worse here or in Superstar? Uh, Does Superstar even have any side uh, Star Allies has a couple bad ones. Ugh. The only uh, one, the only one I found really, I think, I think the only real obnoxious ones were in. Ow. The only real obnoxious ones were in Dreamland too. Especially if you were, especially in the uh, Dark Castle, which was like the final world in the game. That world in general just sucked. Ow. God I... damn sharks in a Kirby game. Hey. No, mean right. sharks in a Kirby game. Sharks have always been in Kirby games somewhere. But these ones are especially lethal because they just because they they just sink your teeth their teeth in you. Give us the heart star. Give us the heart star, you cheap ass. It's like I'm never gonna look at you. <laughs> I'm in the mood. I I think I'll help myself to some. Well, I can't say calamari because that's squid. Unagi. Uh, unagi. unagi that's yeah, it. No, unagi. That'll work. Unagi. Nice. Yeah. Is that literally is that literally it? Like unagi yeah. is the name of. Yeah. Okay. So oh, okay. So I guess that name from Mars or didn't came from something. Yep. A frog. So, um, as we help ourselves to some fried unagi, uh, next part, we shall, um, help this cute little frog mama find her baby. Yay! Bye! Till next time, guys. <laughs> bye, bye.